Ain't no party like the Zardy party, cause the Zardy party don't stop. Say what? Ain't no party like the Zardy party, cause the Zardy party don't stop. Say what? <laughs> What is going on YouTube? It is your girl Dirty here. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy you decided to stop by to click on this video. Hope you guys enjoy my channel. So um, by the time y'all see this video, I probably already got this video up, how I did my box braids. So yeah, make sure you check out that video. Now I don't have it up, just stay tuned for it. So this video right here, it's long when i say long it's long overdue i've been saying i was gonna do this video but today i finally had some time to do it so today's video i'm gonna talk about my natural hair journey um yeah so we're just gonna get started so when i was a little little girl with my hair so um when i was little my mom did my hair Y'all know about the bow rats, you know, the beads. I'm probably going to um, put videos and clips, like, throughout the video so y'all can see and follow along with me. So, my mom did my hair all the way up until, I don't even remember the age that she started doing my hair. But, I know I started, it had to be, I don't know. I don't know the age. But I do know that I did start going to um, the hair salon. Probably maybe around maybe 4th or 5th grade or maybe 5th grade. One or two. I don't remember. So, for a while she was doing my hair. And my hair, I mean, I guess it was, it won't like down my back long. But, I mean, it was long enough to do beads, um, put bow rest and stuff and put the beads at the end. It was long enough for that. And that was my hair, like, it's natural state. Yeah, that was my hair in its natural state. Because I don't think my mom was putting any perms or anything in my head. Not that I know of. Hmm, did she? I don't know. But after my mom was like, she was tired of doing my hair. So, you know, we had to upgrade to the hair salon. So I started going to the hair salon, put perms in my head, did all that stuff. Basically damaged my hair, put perms. Cause you know you feel like perms make your hair look good make it look you know so you get that straight hair so like that so i put perms in it for like a few years yeah it was like a few years um yeah it was a little minute that I was getting perms so then that just damaged my hair but with but y'all so the thing about me getting perms it wasn't helping my hair but mind you, I kept on getting perms just to keep up with hairstyles that I wanted to get. And then when you're younger, you know, it's just like you don't really have no say, to be honest. Like, you have a say, but not really. Like, I could have said stop getting perms, but at the time, I was liking perms as well. So, I was like, I'm going to just keep on doing perms and stuff like that. But then it got to a point where I realized that my hair wasn't growing from perms. And I think that personally that my hair has trouble growing already because it just has trouble growing. I'm not going to say that people in my family is bald because that's rude. But, like, they be struggling with growth, too. So, you know how some things just, like, run through your family, like, you know, heredity, all that genes, yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm going to just blame it on that. So, yeah. So, fast forward to about 2016. That is when I actually started my natural hair journey. But, um, oh, okay, so first I went to the first person, the first hair salon. So then I started going to a new one in middle school. Yeah, in middle school, I started going to her for like all the way up until, all the way up until, when did I start going to her? It had to be like my senior, my senior, my senior year, something like that. I forgot. Um... Yeah, I was going to her for a while. 
Oh, no, I was all the way over to my junior year. Senior, I forgot. Senior, junior. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was going I was going to her for a while. So, that was the second person. So, the second person was like, hey. All right, so the second person was like, hey, these perms, they really not cutting it, you know, and she just seen that, like, my hair was not growing from perms and it wasn't really doing anything like a perm was just for me to look cute at this point it wasn't helping with no hair growth for me might work for you do you so in 2016 that's when i got like my last perm so 2016 17 18 19 so i've been natural for four years so uh, i just stopped getting perms so i transitioned you know, I didn't do a big chop or anything. I transitioned into my natural hair texture. And, yeah, was I upset about not getting perms anymore? No, because actually my hair has definitely grown without perms. So, I feel like if I did not get that perm, like when I was little, I really feel like my hair would have kept some type of growth, you know. I'm not going to say my hair would have been all the way down my back. But my hair would have, you know, been healthy and would have been growing. So, um, yeah. So, I think I got, that day that she said that, I think I got braids. So, all I basically did when my transitioning into my natural hair, the first products that I used was Cantu at the time. Um, I don't use Cantu anymore. I just... Yeah, I just don't use it because I feel like that was kind of that was the only really product that I knew that was natural, you know, natural for natural hair or what naturals use. So I used that for a while. Um, and when I was transitioning, I did a lot of bantu knots. So bantu knots was my thing was that when I was transitioning, I'm gonna try to find like maybe an old video of how they looked. Um so I did them. I don't like doing them now, but when you transition, I feel like bantu knots are good. I think that's the only thing that stayed in my head, or I stayed with um, some type of you know protective style. So um, I just waited to all of the damage from my hair because my hair was of course straight because it had perm in it, and I think it took me about maybe close to a year for all of it to 100% be out by like all of my um my damaged hair I think I do have a video when it was like the little tips of my hair you can see that they were still damaged if I can find that video I'll put it in here and um yeah it was just a whole lot of beds with that and a whole lot of protective styling during that time and um I think in like 20, when did I start getting feet and braids? I don't know. Maybe 2017, 2018, one of those. I started doing like a lot of like feet and braids mixed with like crochet as well. So basically, I kept my hair in braids for the most part. Sometimes I did, you know, straighten it. But since my roots are very thick and my hair is just thick, baby, it's thick. It ain't really hold up but i did do different styles here and there you know um what else yeah but i know i have i didn't know 2018 i definitely was doing a lot of life feed and braids in 2017 whole lot of feed and braids i kept feed and braids in my hair like if you see me i had them in um and that's how I just maintain my hair for the most part. Because that was kind of the only thing that I know that I can do to help my hair grow. Um, I know having it out was definitely not an option. So, I just did that. Um, so, um, am I happy that I am natural? Yes, I am happy. But then I was like... I really wasn't banging with it to be honest but now like i'm in love with my natural hair i get compliments on my natural hair like natural hair is just beautiful any type of hair is beautiful but i'm very just i'm just so confident with my natural hair now i love rocking it people are like oh how you do this oh you do your own hair and it's like yes and i love getting compliments on it um would i ever go back nope 
would I ever do a big chop? Maybe. I've been thinking about um doing a big chop just to see, like, can my hair grow from, like, scratch? Like, you know what I mean? Just see if it can, seeing if it can grow. So, yeah, my natural journey, it was like I had to do it. It wasn't like, oh, I want to go natural today. No, it was like, you, sis, we got to go natural because if you want your hair to grow, this is what it got to be. But if y'all know any, like, tips to help my hair grow, like, any, I want to try oil, some oils to see my hair will grow, or maybe some vitamins or something like that because I really want my hair to grow. People be like, oh, my gosh, your hair growing so much, like, when people can see that your hair grows, but you can't, I be like, I mean, yeah. But one thing I do need to keep up is, like, clipping my ends. So, we're going to work on that. So, that's probably the only time I'll probably go to somebody. Because I'm, I might try to learn myself. I don't know. But, um, yeah. What else about my natural hair journey? Yeah, I didn't really do much, to be honest, as you can, you know, see. But, you know, I did the bare minimum. I did what I had to do. And I just love, you know, protective styles. They're my best friends. I love them so much. As y'all see right now, I had to put these braids in for a protective style because I was tired of having my natural hair out. Because sometimes you get tired of doing your natural hair, like, for real. But let me see if I left anything out. Um, yeah. If y'all have any questions, or anything that I didn't answer, just leave them down below in the comment section or DM me. You know, oh yeah. Pause. Wait a minute. Y'all need to follow me on my social medias. I never promote my social medias. That is really bad. So y'all need to follow me on Instagram at Life with Zardy. Follow me on Twitter at dart underscore trees and follow me on well add me on Snapchat at trees baby. So yeah, because y'all never know. I could be doing a giveaway and you have to follow me on all three. You never know. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. I do um DM back. I do talk to y'all. I do interact on there. I'm very active on there. So if you need to reach me, reach me in the DMs, okay? All right, y'all, so that wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications to be notified when I post a video. And remember to live your best life. And I'm out. Papa, peace. If we like to party.